Sketches of Life, Truth and Dating, The Scene is the Dinner Date at a Nice Restaurant. Title must appear at the beginning of the scene, either as a graphic or voiced over. The man who couldn't lie on a date. Participants are Amy and Steve, a pair of 20-somethings on a first date who also happen to look like a good match. So have you been here before? Amy asks. Yeah, I take all my first dates here, Steve says. Do you know the manager? Yeah, I helped him with a car accident one time, and we got along pretty well. He gives me a good discount, so it's a very cheap date. So what was it about my dating profile that caught your eye? Probably nothing at all in particular. I send out five emails a day to women asking for dates. You're very cute, you don't own a cat, and you didn't list a height preference. It was only a matter of time before I got around to asking you. Thanks, I think. Did you actually read my profile? No, definitely not. It was way too long and boring. I looked at it briefly for one talking point so I could have a means of introduction. So what are you looking for in a woman? In the long term? Steve asks. Yes. A woman I want to grow old with, he says. Aw, how sweet. So how do you know when you found her? I don't know, Steve says. I don't think you ever know right away, but I will know that she's physically attracted to me if she laughs at my bullshit attempts at being funny. Amy giggles a bit. So what about me? I know this date is going well, Steve says, so we're going to go on a second date. I'm not sure if we'll make out on that second date. It's a little bit too early to speculate, but I can tell that we're already off to a good start. So you're a partner at a law firm? Amy asks. No, I'm just a run-of-the-mill attorney with a shitty boss, annoying clients, and making less money than most people think I make. I exaggerated my occupation and income on my dating profile, as I always do. Are you also wearing lifts in your shoes to make yourself look taller? No, I wish. I'll never have the balls to do that. So why did you recommend the chicken Caesar salad? Amy asks. I was secretly hoping that you'd find it to be sufficient for dinner and wouldn't order an entree. So are you mad that I also ordered pasta? Kind of, but only if I don't get to make out with you after the next date. That's the price of dating. I've had to accept that I'm going to piss a lot of money down the drain in order to find the right woman. It's a fact of life. So why did you decide to date online? Because I have a horrible personality, and I'm very unappealing as a potential boyfriend, so I need all the help I can get. At least if I go online, I can trick women into meeting me. <laughs> Amy giggles. Why did you care whether I own a cat, though? I'm allergic. Plus, everyone I know who owns a cat is undateable. Really? If they're living on their own. Well, some women are just cat lovers. Yeah, I'm sure. Amy giggles again. So what about dogs? Do you like dogs? Only if liking them will help my chances of getting somewhere with you. And what kind of music do you like? Amy asks. Whatever kind will help my chances of getting somewhere with you. Do you work out a lot? No, Steve says. I can start if it will help my chances of getting somewhere with you, though. It might. So what's your favorite TV show? Whatever show will help my chances with you. Are you desperately lonely? Amy says. Probably, Steve responds. Are you one of those guys who's looking for a woman to take care of you just like your mommy used to? No. Amy's taken aback. You're not? No. I'm a pathetic guy in most respects, but I know how to take care of myself. So what do you find least appealing about me, Amy says. You look like you'll take forever to get into bed. If you think I'll take forever to get into bed, then why bother, she asks. Well, forever is shorter than never, Steve responds. So what's your biggest dating fantasy that doesn't involve hooking up with a date? 
Probably going on a date with a woman who seems like a bitch and then sneaking into the restroom just after dinner and leaving her with the bill. I've always wanted to do that. What about just really liking the girl? I guess that I thought that was covered by the not hooking up. Well, that too. I don't mind that. But it would be awesome to leave a C word with the dinner bill. When you tell your friends about this date, what will be the first thing you mention to them? Probably the size and shape of your rear end. Really? Why is that? Because it's my favorite size and shape. Really? It is? You think so? But I'm not even an underwear model or anything. In fact, I think it's way too big. Well, I don't count those rear ends. And I'm not going to describe it in detail. I'm just going to say it's nice and big. Because it is. And that should be enough. Oh, that's nice to know. Will you tell them anything else about me that doesn't involve getting in my pants? I'll tell them that I think you're wonderful. But I'm pretty sure they won't care. But you do think I'm wonderful? Of course, so far I do. But like I said, they won't care. I may have to describe your breasts. That's why I've been sneaking extended glances at them when you're not paying attention. So will you buy me flowers the next time you see me? Of course, but only if it will help my chances of getting somewhere with you. Amy looks and then slightly gestures towards a noticeably attractive woman sitting about 15 feet away from their table. If that woman came over here right now and told you that she wanted you to leave me and take her home, would you? Right now? Yeah, probably reluctantly. You'd be reluctant? Well, she is much more attractive than you. I mean, by a country mile. But I suspect that I wouldn't be the first guy or the last guy getting the business from her. So she probably wouldn't be interested in seeing me long term. Now, I think the two of us could be starting something special. But I've been wrong before. With her, I know I'd have something special tonight. But it really wouldn't be the start of anything. Having said that, one night with her would be better than three months with damn near every woman I've ever met or spent three months with. That's fair, Amy says. Will you call me tomorrow? Yes, of course. Only if it helps you get me into bed, Amy asks. Let me see. No, I'll do it because I want to see you again. The food arrives. That chicken looks delicious, Amy says. Well, thank you. I had horrible diarrhea the last time I order it. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Amy is momentarily grossed out by Steve's comment, but they begin to eat amicably. Scene. Recorded May 23rd, 2013.